tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to quickly show you how you can create a sort of Christmassy snowflake scene, maybe like for a card or something like that, in Affinity Designer. Now I've got some snowflakes here I've already created but I'll just quickly remove that one. Uh, I'll leave that one there for now. Right, this has just got a nice little quick background that I've just created using the tool over here, the rectangle tool. And what I've done is just add a fill. So I'm just going to click there and you see you've got a gradient. It's linear. And what you can do, obviously you can modify the colour, just go there and change it if you want, say like light blue, right, something like that. And also I've added, select that, I want to select the actual text. Now, just go over here to the art text tool. And of course you can change the font. The fonts I'm using is from Graphic Extras, but uh, oh, I could use that one or that one and so on so on. I'll use that one. Now, of course, you can find many other fonts on the web that are a sort of like Christmassy snowflake design, I'm not quite certain. Right, once you've actually got that, just go over to the gradient tool. And what I've done, actually, I've just added already, pre-added the gradient, but um, you can modify the fill type to from solid, linear, and I've gone for radial. So and I've actually, what I've done, just got this little gradient here, bring that up, and I've set white for the centre and blue on the outer part, and you can just see it going out that way. You can reverse it, of course, but personally, I prefer it that way. It looks nicer. Okay. What you can do then, of course, you can actually duplicate them. Of course, in real life, snowflakes are all supposedly unique. So maybe it would be better at that point. Of course, you can always change it. So just quickly go to maybe another, like that. But you can, of course, keep the same design or change it, whatever you wish. Now, once you've done that, you can actually duplicate those. And you can place them, obviously, off different parts, but of course, they're not all the same size. I'm saying you can actually, of course, create and just reduce the size, scale it down, and then duplicate that. And again, just click that one and duplicate that one. And you can make a whole range of different designs. Of course, you can also modify the gradient. You don't have to keep the same gradient. So you just go back to the gradient tool and then just shift that to maybe make it at that position. Now another thing you can do, you've got various effects, you just go over here, you've got the layers over here, so you can see all the various ones I've just created, and you can then add effects to the individual items. And one thing I like to do is actually Gaussian blur, because you just want the snowflakes to be slightly distant, not in the same focus. So you can just go to different items over here, and I'm just gonna select that one now, and go for Gaussian Blur and make that slightly blurred as well. And of course you can, once you've actually got that, you can actually duplicate those as well. And you can of course add them on top of each other if you wish as well. Slightly skew if. Right, once you've done that, another option you can do to make even additional variation is to add some transparency. So you can just go to the transparency tool and just modify transparency. So you can, you get part of snowflake this sort of comes down so it sort of blends into the background likewise this one up here select that one and transparency and again modify the transparency so you've got some of it and of course you can add glows and other features There's a number of features there as well so if you want a slight variation to add a sort of glow to that and you can change the color you might want to go for a, a light blue to give it a more Christmassy look. Right, so once you've actually done that, you of course can then add your normal text to this. And there you have it, a nice little Christmassy scene in a few seconds. Now of course you can always add some, uh, maybe a Father Christmas or some other additional feature, an angel or something to that backdrop as well. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.